Hello everyone, I am Siddharth and today I am going to solve the code shift problem which is expiring bread and the problem code for this one is expiry. So let's read the question what is said over here. So it says that that is Ekoff loves to eat bread. She has n loaf of bread all of which expire after exactly m days. She can eat up to k loaves of bread in a day and the question here is can she eat all the loaves of bread before they expire. That is we have to find out whether she can eat all the loaves of bread that is n she has before the days of expiry she can eat all of them or not if yes she can eat all of them then we will print yes as output if not then we will print no as output so let's see in our whiteboard how to do this so in our whiteboard i have do nothing i have just written the parameters that are given to here so i have written that the number of loaves of bread she has that is n i have written it that over here number of days left to expire that is m and the number of breads she can eat per day that is k that is also written over here so what we will do is we will find out the total number of bread that she can eat in m days okay because we know the number of bread she can eat in per day and we know the m days so what we will do we will find out the total number of bread that she can eat in m days so let's write over here so total number of loaves she can eat in m days okay so how do we find it we know the number of bread she can eat per day that is k and we know that it is m so when we multiply this we will get the total number of bread she can eat in m days so that is equivalent to k multiplied by m right now the logic here comes is if the supplied loaf of bread that is n if this n is less than k multiplied by m that is the number of bread she can eat in m days then we will print yes and if this is if this is true okay then we will print yes and if this one is false we will print no very simple we are just finding out the total number of bread that she can eat in m days by multiplying m into k what is k k is the number of bread that she can eat per day and if the supplied loaves that is n that the loaf she has right if that is less than this number that is the total number of bread then yes she can finish all the loaf of bread before the expiry date and if this is false or that is greater than this n is greater than this product of k and n then we will print no because it is not possible for her to completely eat all the loaves of bread between this time so let's see how we code this let's go to our compiler that is this code okay so this is my code snippet i have have over here so what will i do now the first thing was there about the number of test cases so for that i will run a for loop for running the test cases simultaneously so for here i have to discuss i have to declare int t to count the number of test cases and we have to accept it from the user this is quite obvious then we will run a for loop for i equal to 0 okay i less than t and then i plus plus this will count the number of test cases quite obviously then we will accept the parameter that is c in first is n that is the number of loaves that she has then then m and then k quite obviously i have to declare this n m and k n m and k we have to declare this after that what will we will do that we will find out the total number of bread that she can eat in m days that is Let's declare our variables for storing it. Let's declare total. Okay. Underscore bread. Okay. And what will be the formula for that? That will be n into k. Done. Now it's time to compare. Comparison will be like this. See, if this total bread okay is greater than or equal to n okay then what we will do we will just see out that is we will print yes after that endl 
None. If this is false, else what we will do? We will see out. We will see out. No. Then end then quite obviously. And this much was our code. Like simple. So let's run the test cases over here and let's see whether it is working properly or not. So for that, I would recommend to use this concrete programming helper extension. So how to use this? You have to just copy the input sample input and paste it over here. Okay. And also the sample output, we have to paste it over here. Okay. And then we have to run the code. So let's run it. So it is showing that is passed. That means my test case is passed. That means my program is running properly. Right. So let's copy this and let's paste this on our code shape IDE. Okay, we are here and let's paste it. So uh, we are in our IDE now of code chef and I already have the things but I will remove this and just paste it simply. So this was our code and let's submit it. Let's check whether it is working properly or not. So here you can see that our problem is solved successfully and we have got a hundred percent score. So in this way we solve the problem expiry. Okay. So I, I hope you like this video.